just going to break it down a little bit more so you can kind of see everything that I have. Um, basically, I have the positive and negative coming from this battery charger, connecting onto the little wires. Uh, one positive and one negative going in to this cell here. See if I can shine it into the light so you can see it a little bit better. But here, I'll just take it out. Oh, I'm going to have to set the camera down. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This little cell, it's just a little spiral cell. And what it is, it's two pieces of stainless steel flashing, uh, rolled flashing basically rolled together so um yeah that's pretty much it just two plate it'd be a two plate cell then um the awesome thing about these is you can have a large a lot of square inches to produce hydrogen um but not take up a very large area so yeah that's it what, what it is in between the plates to separate it to separate them is this uh mesh material right here that you would usually use um, I think you use it in like gutters or something like that. Um, it's like a vinyl mesh. So that's separating it. So obviously, yeah, some of the gases would get trapped kind of in there. But it's not tight enough that it would prevent it from escaping, obviously, as you can see. So that's uh, kind of what I have. So I'll put it back in the cup, turn it on. Um, this right here is just regular tap water. It needs to be stirred. You can see a little bit of baking soda at the bottom, but this is the spoon that I used. I just you can kind of compare it. Um, yeah, just not a very big spoon, but 